What's good, y'all? It's your boy Mateo. In today's video, we're gonna be installing my coilovers. Last video, we did the wheels, and this video is the coil. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm a Mexicano. Go about this, sir, brody. <laughs> One eternity later. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Mateo. Last video, we installed the wheels. This video, we're gonna be installing the coilovers. Let's get straight into it. Raceland Ultimo, I believe they're called coilovers. I bought these because they're, they were the only ones from Raceland that had adjustable dampening, and I plan to go low, so we're gonna need that. These cost me roughly around, uh, I believe they were $610. One of the best ones on the cheaper scale. So for daily driving, it's gonna be good, but if I was gonna buy, I was gonna use this car for drifting or something, I would most likely buy like BC. These are, the, I believe, the best bunch of coilovers. All right, so the first thing to install the front coilovers, we're gonna be removing this bar right here. Right now, I'm using uh, 9 16 You got it. <laughs> Boy, if you don't- Right now, we just jacked it up on that side. We're about to jack it up on this side. Do you guys see right here? So I had to reach in. Grab it from right here so I can actually put the, the jack stand right here where it's supposed to go. All right, so we jacked up the car, we got everything ready. You just took the wheels off. Now I'm about to go down here and check out all, all the right tools. All right, so guys, up here, these are gonna be a 14 millimeter. Down there, these are gonna be a, be a 17 millimeter. And then I believe this one right here, this one's gonna be a 12 millimeter. Alright guys, so we just got this one out, the sock one out, and we just adjusted the preload on this. I'm pretty sure it came adjusted, but I'm just making sure, so I adjusted it again, and then I'm just adjusting it to where I want it, and now we're going to go ahead and put it back. Right, guys, so basically what we did is, since this is a lot smaller than the, the first one we just put in, we put these two screws in first, because these screws are long, so they poke out a lot, so when this is in, you can't really put them in. This is in the way so what we did is we put these on first and then we move this up and then now we just jack the car up a little bit so we get this screw in and now we're just putting everything in and now we're about to tighten okay people we have a little trouble putting the the soy bar link it was like cook it like that cook it you know something like that my italiano is not so good but, <laughs> but we spent like 30 minutes almost 45 minutes to try to get the link and we put everything back together on the driver's side so we were ready to roll. My dad we said we had trouble with the sway bar end link. Uh, we finally got it out. We bought, we got both of them installed, that side and this side. Uh, we tightened everything up. So now I'm gonna lower it and see where we're at. Go ahead. Woo, Check you're safe. Mine of their own. You see? Oh, hold on. back at it again we finished the front yesterday um i didn't get to finish the rear because i had more important things to do you know i had to spend time with my girl but now it's the next day and we're gonna get the rear on and so let's get it the rear should be easier than the front right now we're just loosening the lug nuts and go ahead and jack it up from the differential and then we're gonna see what we're working with down there all right guys so we got the wheel off uh basically it's just these two bolts up here this one right here the, for the strut fork and then we're gonna have to put a jack under here because this is loaded and then take out this bolt right here. So those two bolts up there are gonna be a 12 and this one right here along with this one are both gonna be a 17. All right, so I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but this is how we did it in the, in the front. But the front suspension is a little different than the rear. If anything, we could just readjust it to how I want it, but I'm gonna try to drop it two and a half inches in the rear. I'll let you guys know if this works or not. All right guys, so we just finished installing this one. It's kind of dark in there, but um, we tightened everything up. So now, next step is to put the wheels on. We're gonna lower it and see what we got. If we need to adjust it for now, yeah, that's a moment of truth. We're about to lower the back and see how it it sits. I 
That's all we done. Oh, we could lower it more. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. We can fit two fingers in there. I think another half inch for now. It's not even. Okay, let me go ahead and look on the other side. Yeah, we could lower it more. All right, we're gonna lift it back up, lower like another half inch, and then we'll see what we got from there. Cause this is how the front used to sit, and the front's lower now. So, all right, guys. Way. So we just took everything off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this one right here and spin this clockwise, and that should lower my vehicle. And I'm gonna lower about two two fingers, so it's gonna be like an inch, a little bit less right, than guys. So. On the other side, we measured roughly two fingers, and it was from this top side to down here, four centimeters. So I'm gonna do the same on this side, right around there. And how you lower the, the car is after this is already tight, you gotta spin this clockwise, clockwise right there. And I'm gonna just keep doing this until we get the desired height. This ring goes down Guys, here. This is the part two, final reveal. We lowered it about an inch. So let's see what we got. There you go. That's more like it's, it's even just one finger. Front, see just one finger. I believe the front's a little lower, but. After I finished that last clip, I was gonna finish off the video and when I got to work and show you guys how the car sits and everything but uh on the way to work I started noticing a misfire so I was closer to my house so I just ended up so driving to the my car house. right now uh, I took it for a chest drive and it was driving perfectly uh, I didn't play with any of the dampening it rides perfect I like exactly how it is I did, like I told you guys, I have the spacers upstairs for the rear. Because as you guys can see, there's a little space in the rear compared to the front. I didn't get to drive it that much after I put the coilovers on. Because of the misfire that started popping up. But yeah, this house sitting. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys will go lower. And then when I, and then when I do put the spacer, I'm going to have to roll this rear fender. But the front is fine. Full lock, 10 and a half in the front, uh, plus 22. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Follow me on my Instagram. I'm gonna have it linked in the description. Subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think. And stay tuned because I have a lot more stuff coming to the Z. Right now, this is my daily. So I plan on buying a project car. Stay tuned for that. I got a lot of stuff coming to this channel, man. So just subscribe and, and watch my videos because I'm, I'm gonna start dropping some bangers. No cat. Ah, uh, yeah. Peace out.